Hello guys and welcome to the, well, well actually we've not done a football manager in quite a long time. Um, mainly because we kind of got into the season and just playing game to game. Um, so I just really wanted to run through where things have gone since we last left off. So we'll probably look at the transfer history first just to see where we are. So I think the last video we did was probably in this season I think. Uh, so we'd we'd bought in Herlock. I'm pretty sure we'd shown him um, Parcel. Uh, we we didn't. To be honest, we probably spent the most money in this one. We bought in Husin, Scott Sinclair, Ollie Younger, Rocker Reese, Louis Louis Foster. These are all youth players, I think. Um, Demarjo Wright Phillips and Eric Ramirez from Crystal Palace. Um, and we got rid of. I think you would have seen that one in the last one. The Maxwell Statham. He's gone. Um, so let's move forward to a season. So this is in League 2, I believe. Um, let me just check on time. Yeah, this is League 2. So we spent a bit more money. We spent 10k on Ashley Boatswain. Um, he's really good. Like He's been good, decent for us this season even in League 1. Um, so we've signed Jem Hewlett, who's a defender. Uh, Luke Jackson... I think he's a youth player. I oh, know he's a he was a substitute goalkeeper, so he's not really playing much now. Um Kieran Waled Waledgy Um he's on loan at the minute. Um Ben Winter, he's not here anymore. Zane Alberus, he's still here. We got him from Cardiff Met Uni. Cardiff Met Uni seems to get really decent players every now and again. So if you if you look at them every now and again, they seems to have decent players in their team. Uh there was someone there, I think it was this guy, this Xander Zazeba from York, who was apparently somebody decent to look at. But yeah, they, they always seem to get decent players in. Um, Sean McGinty, defender. James Ball, easily the signing of that season. He was sensational. Um, he's still playing okay now, but I feel like he's probably hit a level where he's like, League League One is kind of maybe a little bit too much for him. Um Jack Grant was on loan, so we got an affiliate in Crystal Palace. Uh, Patrick M. Bazuvara. I'm really terrible at names, sorry. Um, he was playing up front for us. Again, he was decent. Um, probably our striker of the season, to be fair. Uh, but he's not here anymore because of, he didn't want to come on loan again and his transfer fee was like in the millions. Uh, we can't afford that. Um, but yeah, he's decent. And I think he was only, what, he's, he's 19... Um, Josh Dolling, these are signings that we got prepared for next season ahead. Josh Dolling this season has been a bit meh. He's more of a rotational option. Um, Nathan Smith, he's he's still at the club, but we'll probably be getting rid of him. Um, I'm not really sure why I signed him. He's more of a like a substitute, I guess, for playing in defence. Um, and then easily our best signing of that window was I'm really going to butcher this name. Is it Hadarsen? Um, very good striker. Other than his finishing, although that has gone up, um, I think you know he's he's a very good player up front for us, and he's he's been scoring a lot of goals this season. So not as many as I'd like him to score. So not probably quite find his feet sweet spot. Um, although I did find that playing him as a target man accidentally was not the greatest idea so i have him as an advanced forward now i will show you the tactic um but i just want to run through the transfers first um and in that window we also sold alex winter went on a free um hernandez went on loan i'm not sure if he's still a player no we we got rid of him i think his contract expired um and then david omalabu uh, we sold him to yeovil he's still at yeovil actually um, not playing as many games for them now, but looks fit. Or it doesn't look like he's played that many games in the two seasons he's been there. So I think it is right to sell him because he's not really. I mean, for us, he wasn't that great either. Um, and then to where we are now, we've we've obviously made some bigger signings and we've let some more players go. Um, so the first one was an interesting one. He came upon a scout report um, from this Gran Pina team. Um, which he's Spanish, he's a centre back. Uh, he's 22, so he's quite young still. Um, he's got decent mental stats. Uh, his physicals are really good. 
And his defending, I mean, his defending is fairly strong. Other than his heading, he's not great at heading. Um, but yeah, he's he's been he's been pretty decent for us. Forget the six point nine two. Um, he's been solid. Like this, he's our. T I think he's our top earner. Uh, let me just double check. He is. He's our top earner. So we might be overpaying. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know whether I should try playing him as a defensive midfielder, like somewhere here. Like there, as an anchor or something, just to see what I can get out of him, because his stats look better suited to that. Um, or play him as a defensive midfielder, I don't know. I could try him as an anchor, as a DM, and see how that goes. Um, but then that would mean I need another centre-back, so I don't know. But we'll see how that goes anyway. Maybe that's more of his role, like he's not so much as a hardcore defender. Uh we also got, let's go back to transfers and history. Um, we also got, this is probably the best player we actually got in the window. Um, Yushane Marais, again, he was from Charlton. I mean, these stats are insane. He's 18 years old. He's, I think he's a championship quality player, but I think he could probably go further than that. But he's really, really good. Like, insane player. Um, and he plays as a deep line playmaker. So he's he's in the midfield. Um, we've got a new left back in. So Kinsella's out now, and we're playing El Amin Kazim. Um, Kazim, he's, he's he's fairly decent. His technicals could be better. That's the one downside. Um, but his mentals and his physicals are really good. Um, and I think he was playing at a League One level. Um, but he's, he's he's done okay so far. I mean, he's had he's had one goal, one assist. Um, so yeah, we, we're getting the most out of him. Uh, Charlie Davies, a uh, lone player from our affiliate again, Crystal Palace. Um, I mean, very good player again. He's obviously too good for this league. Whether or not we can sign him, I don't know. It depends whether they release him. Um, obviously, we can't afford his wages. Uh, and then we got Sam Paul on a free, right back upgrade. Um, so we've now taken Hall out of the team and bought in Sam Paul. Um, Youngish player, don't think he's going to improve that much. He'll probably be gone at the end of next season if we get a better right back. Um, our left back and right back are two positions we could probably get better for. Um, I did a bit of my season previews. So I don't know whether you've done this before, but when you go around the team um, and look in your leagues, obviously you can do the season previews. What I try to do is I'll look through them and see who's available. Um, so it's quite it's quite an interesting way of doing things, really. Um, so like this guy, he's he's on loan from Man City, but he's a very good player. But I go all the way down basically to like the lower leagues, like here, and I just have a look around at players um, to see who there is. So there's this guy who I was looking at from South Shields. So he's obviously come from their youth setup, but he's very good. Like. I think when I said, would he join, they were like, no. And actually... So they, they, they are potentially open to letting him join. We'll put a transfer offer and see how it goes. But yeah, I, I do this quite a lot. There was, in a previous save, I never did a video on it on YouTube, but we played as, I think it was Curzon Ashton, and... We got into League One, and one of the players we got from there was Gilda Mario, who was this Brazilian um, youth prospect from, I think it was either Cambridge or Gloucester, I think it was Cambridge, um, but he's in, he was insane. So yeah, that's just one way I do scouting sometimes for players, like I just look at the teams further down the league. And sometimes you do get like really good players that could step up to championship level and they're playing all the way down in this league. So it's a bit of a Jamie Vardy journey really. Um on back onto the transfer history. Um so yeah, that's what I did with this guy, Max Kuskowski, whatever his name is. Um he's a breakthrough prospect. He's got quite a high potential. Um he used to play for Arsenal. He then went to Gloucester. Um, I thought I'd take a punt on him because he was in the team of the like the team of the season. 
Um, he's got really good physicals, really good mentals, um, decent technicals. I think he's a good defender, to be fair. So he's he's kind of a rotation option. He does want to go out on loan when we signed him. So at the minute, he's actually underbid to go to Cambridge or Harrogate in League 2. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And then we got Sam Geddes from Crystal Palace. Um, the players we sold were... So Eduardo Vass, he was on a free contract anyway. So he was on a non-contract. A team came in for him and bought him. Um, as I said, well, Edgy's on loan. Um, this is a youth player, the Italian player. He's out on loan at the minute. Um, I don't think he'll get much game time. I think we'll probably release him in the summer. Uh, I sold Oli Younger. Um, just because when I got that Kukowski guy in, or whatever his name was, um, they were kind of similar. But I feel like Younger's... He's obviously 27, so he hasn't got a lot of development. Um, so I sold him and pushed him on. So he's gone to Oldham, who are in League 2. Um, see how that one goes. And then Josh Ashby, I sold on a free. So he's gone to Lal Nelly Town. Um, again, older player, 30 years old. I just wanted to clear out some of the... Like, if I look at my squad age, I've got five players in their 30s. Now, Nathan Jones, Nathan Smith's probably leaving. Well, Edgy's probably leaving. Kinsella will be leaving. McGinty will be leaving. So a lot of these will be leaving. Um, James Ball, I'm not sure. I might keep him, but it looks like his stats are starting to fall off. Um, but yeah, if you look at my team, like the majority of the good players, like Hadarsson's 19, Moraes is 18, Tobias is 22, um, Lemiras is 19, um, and then it kind of goes 24 and onwards. Um, Boatswain, he's um, 21. So in terms of like key sort of players for us this season, our top goal scorers are kind of split between Boatswain and Hadarsson. Um, I like using Boatswain as a target man and Hadarsson behind him because I think they combine quite well. Um, Hadarsson's actually taken a hit in stats. He was like 7.5 earlier. So we we not have the greatest sort of overalls so far. Um Nathan Smith's not even played a game and we're paying 1,100 on wages. So I really need to sort of get rid of him. I might hire an intermediary to try and sell him just to get rid of him. Because um, the the wages are obviously we want as much as we can. We've Budget wise, we're doing quite well. Like, we're spending 21,664 and we've got about 25,000 wage. So we've got quite a lot we can spend in terms of on our wages. Um, there's not really anyone that I'm looking at at the minute in terms of like in my scouting centre. Um, if I just go there, scouted players. I did try to get Joe Taylor, who looked really good um, as a striker, but I couldn't get him. So that's how to, that's where I came in for Hadarsson. Um He was playing at Luton. He's actually playing in the Premiership um, for a good number of seasons, although they've now been relegated. But yeah, he was playing in the Premiership. Um, so yeah, there's not really anyone decent scouted really. Sometimes you get the odd one that comes in and you think, yeah, I've got to sign him. Um, that was the case with Tobias. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show the team. We're in first place in the um, Sky Bet League one. Um, we've had a pretty decent run, to be honest. Um, so yeah, we'll see how things go. Um, I'll probably update at the end of this season because then there'll be obviously all the championship signings. So you'll expect, obviously, we'll have a lot more money, wages. Um, and we'll be able to probably sign some better players than what we've got here. So getting a lot of these, like, if you look at my ability list at the minute, that is only, we have potentially three players that are four star plus. Um, so I think, yeah, there's, there's a lot of cleaning out in the summer. Um, I think Lemiras are probably keeping for the championship. Um, right, Phillips, I'm not so sure. Maybe he might be good enough, I'm not sure. I think he started to tail off probably. Um, but yeah, certainly like from here and I probably from from there and down, um, they're not really that great. Um, Tobias Herlock again. I think he's a decent player, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, I might keep some of these just as rotation options, like to keep them in the squad. Um, or we could even make an under twenty three team and just like put them in there. Um but yeah, we'll we'll see how things go. I'll do an update at the end of the season with the transfers, um just to show 
who we can sign in to the next um sort of summer period when we go hopefully we'll be going into the championship so we'll get some much better players on higher salaries but obviously the star ratings will be hopefully a lot more sort of fours and fives at the top um i think that's the area we need to focus in i think squad wise um left back right back we need better um another defender i would probably say who's better as well because obviously our the guy from crystal palace davies is on loan so we haven't really got him full time um midfielders i think we need some better midfielders we've got Moraes, so he'll probably stay um but i think we could do with a new box to box midfielder um Geddes, he's on loan so we'll probably need another winger i would probably say um Depends if I play right Phillips, but Lemiras will start. Um, I, f I do need an attacking midfielder. Um, and then Hadarsson, he needs to obviously start boat swing. So yeah, we'll see how things go. Things will change. I am tempted to try that Tobias as an anchor in there and see what it's like. Um, and then maybe drop one of these midfielders for an attacking midfielder maybe an attacking midfielder I'd try to drop that off and then bring in an anchor here but I'll give that a try anyway see what happens but thank you for watching guys I will do another video soon um, with obviously the championship transfers um, but yeah thank you for watching